Hi everyone, it's Sarah coming to you from birdsofafeather.ca. Here we've got one skein of this beautiful Burnett baby blanket yarn. It's a chenille. And we're going to take this yarn and we're going to turn it into this. Let's get crocheting. We're going to start with an I cord. And what we're going to do is crochet it. Just untangle the end here. Just going to make a slip stitch. And I'm using a number seven crochet hook. Just going to tighten this around. We're going to chain three. So there's one, two, and three. So we've got our three chains and we're just going to insert our hook and slip stitch. Insert again, yarn over and just slip it through. So we've got three stitches on our hook. We're going to drop off two of the stitches. We're going to hold them. Then we're going to go yarn over through the stitch that's on our hook. We're going to put one of those stitches back on the hook, yarn over, come through. That's a single crochet. Again, we're going to put the last stitch on the hook, yarn over, and come through. We're always going to have three stitches on our hook. So I'm going to show you that again. We're going to slip two of the stitches off the hook and hold them between our thumb and forefinger. Yarn over and through. Put the next stitch back on the hook and still hold that other one. Yarn over and through. Then the last stitch goes back on the hook. Yarn over and through. And what we're gonna do is insert wire into this tube once we have adequate length and we're going to form our bunny. So I'm just going to show you that again. Just before we move on to the next step, we're taking two of the stitches off the hook and we're holding them tight. Yarn over, pull through, add the second stitch back onto the hook, yarn over, pull through, Add the last stitch back onto the hook, yarn over, and pull through, and give it a tug. Okay, I'm just going to continue on until I've got the length that I need, and uh, we'll be right back with the next step. I drew up this bunny template, and so I'm just going to tape it together. It's printed to scale. I've taken the eye cord and I've actually arranged it around the outline of the bunny just to ensure that I have enough. This is the end. I do have a little bit of extra, but I'm going to leave that um, just in case. And then I can always, like, I'll leave the, um, the stitches on the hook. I can always take away, or oh, for that matter, you can always add if you have to. But um, so I'm just going to leave it for now just as an insurance policy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tape measure. I'm just going to measure my length. And this is so that I can cut the wire that's going to be fed inside. Okay, so we've got 120. So that'll just give me a guideline to cut the wire. So I'm going to do that now off camera. I'm going to take this away, clear the area. And when we come back, I'm going to fit my wire around the outline of the bunny so that I've got my shape. If you saw my previous Easter bunny project, you'll know that um, I ended up putting a frame around it. This time, I think I'm going to try something different, and I fashioned a stand. What I did was 
I've got this circular cut out and I've just wrapped the wire around the perimeter and so I've placed it on here and I've weighed it down with this can so I'm going to come along and bend the wire to the shape of the bunny Once you have your wire form done, you're just going to check to make sure that it conforms to the lines the way you want. And this is where you can start to finesse it. So I'm just going to take some time to um, finish that off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the excess, find our end, and then we'll be feeding the cord on and wrapping it all the way around our wire form. Here's the finished wire form. Now you don't have to be so precise. And you can use any wire that you happen to have on hand. I just happen to have found this scrap piece of electrical wire. So I found this little cap and I just popped it over the end and we'll see if that helps. So I'm going to just feed this on. It's still going to poke through because the stitches are pretty wide. So I think the best thing to do is maybe just ease it on with a twisting action. Here we are at the end of the rope, so to speak, and um, I've just popped the wire through. Just gonna pull this back so we can work with the wire. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is I'll create a hook right here. So I'm going to get some heavier pliers so that I can bend that just a little bit more and just squeeze it shut. So that's what we have, a closed loop. Just going to hook it onto here. Okay, now that that's there, we can tighten up the other side of this loop by bringing it together. So we're just going to tighten this. Okay. As you can see, that's now attached. Now if you want, you can add some tape. But I think, I think it's good. So we're going to bring these two ends together. Grab some scissors. Now this is going to be where the tail goes, so it doesn't really matter that there's a join there. So I'm just going to give myself a good length, cut 
cut this off. Then I will take the green tape, tear off a piece, I'm just going to wrap this around the end. Just keep twisting that around. Okay, then I'll just cut a point. Now before you go ahead and stitch these two ends together, just ensure that the eye cord that's wrapped around the wire is wrapped in the direction that you want it. So for instance, you don't want this loose end showing here because you could potentially see the wire through. So just turn that to the back. Just have everything going in the same direction. Okay, then you'll be able to release the stitches and we're just gonna go back and forth between either edge. So I'm just gonna start here and come up through a loop. Then I can release one of these stitches off the hook. And then come back down through that stitch. And just tighten these together so there's no gap. Okay, then you're going to come up through another loop in the upper part of the I cord. And bring the yarn through. Okay, that's good and tight. And again, we're going to release a stitch. Gonna put that back on so we don't lose it. Take the end, come through another loop, that loop that you just released off the crochet hook. And tighten that together. And as you'll see, that's just going to cover it nicely. You're not going to have a lump. So again, you're going to come up through another loop in the upper part of the eye cord. Now if you're having a hard time pulling it through, just grab a pair of needle nose pliers and grab onto it and that should help. Okay, now it's our last stitch. We're gonna release that. Come through the loop. and tighten that. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over and we're going to 
ensure that the back is closed. Now this end we can hide down inside. Just tuck that in. Actually, I'm going to take my crochet hook, just come up and grab the end of that and pull it through. And then I'll come up further down and continue to pull that tail through. Grab the tail and pull it through. Okay, I'm gonna cut that tail later and then it's gonna be hidden right inside the eye cord. You're not gonna see it. We're just going to finish off closing up right here. So I'm just going to come across right through here and through here. Just pull it through. Gonna come down Okay, so as you can see, that's looking pretty good. And that's gonna be completely covered by the tail. So I'm gonna do the same thing with a crochet hook. I'm gonna take the end and pull it up through and hide it in the center of the I cord. I'm gonna do that later off camera. Just gonna flip it around to the front to show you. So here's a bunny standing. I've manipulated this wire base so that he now stands. And now we're going to put the tail on. We're just going to attach it right there. Look how beautiful this pom-pom is that I'm going to be using as the tail. It almost looks like real fur. It's got sort of darkened tips here. Just beautiful. It's not fur though, as you can see by the label. It's 85% acrylic and 15% polyester. It's just amazing what they can do these days to make things realistic. So I'm gonna take that label off Easier said than done. Just tear away the paper. I can get that later. And basically all we're gonna do is just tie it right on here. Just like that.
And that's all there is to it. Got a tail. So now I'm gonna weave in the end of the tail and I've got myself this really large yarn needle. It's just plastic. And I'm gonna come through the body of the eye cord, right through the center. And then just pull it right through. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you a neat little trick so that you can actually display photos on the inside of this bunny. It's gonna be really cute. So the last step is to take some of this invisible thread and we're going to stitch it at different points. So we could start here and come across and then we'll go up and down the entire space on the inside of the bunny and that'll make for a place that we can clip photos to. So what we'll do is we'll find the end and it is invisible, so luckily we have this little tab here. It looks like I've lost it. There it is. So I'm just going to take a little bit off this spool, unravel it so you've got enough. Now this is pretty fine, so I might actually just double this. We'll see how it goes. Cut that off. Now this is so fine, I don't think you're actually gonna be able to see me sew this on. So I'm gonna do this off camera, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you the reveal of the final bunny. Here's project number one, the bunny photo and card display. Project number two is this adorable Easter bunny wreath. You'll find a link to all the materials I used in the description below. Happy Easter!